G'day YouTube, down to bricks here. What you building? Got some Force Awakens Star Wars for you today. So how exciting is this? We have got Poe's X-Wing Fighter set 75102. Comes with four minifigs and has 717 pieces. So let's jump in, check out those four minifigs. The minifig selection for this set, we get BB-8, we get Poe Dameron, we get Ground Crew Goss Tours, and we get an X-Wing Pilot. So great looking minifigs, the printing on these guys is superb, the helmets, the printing on the helmets is excellent, even just have a look, there's even some detail on the top of the helmets there, very nice indeed. There they are without their helmets. And from the back. From the side. Now I really like what they've done with this X-Wing. I like the subtle changes that they have made in the design which of course still makes it look very much like an X-Wing but has changed it up a little bit. The black and orange colour scheme I think looks really sharp and that printed cockpit windscreen is a very very nice piece indeed. Now we do get numerous stickers to this set. So there's stickers here around the intakes we have a sticker here, another one there. We have a couple up on there as well. A closer look at that printed piece. It just looks great, doesn't it? And there's in the cockpit, so there's a little bit of storage there for his weapon. There's a sticker there for his display. And of course a spot for BB-8. A look from the rear. This is the mechanism here for folding your wings out. You can just turn that from the side. To be able to hold your wings in place, Lego uses twin rubber bands at the back there and I know this has probably been mentioned quite a few times but we do get them in a blue colour which does stand out quite a bit. I would have liked to see that in black or even red but of course you can always just change those out yourself but I suppose it would have been better to get a different colour to start with. Just below the cockpit we get a couple of stud shooters. From underneath we have a couple of landing feet there and there and we also have a retractable front landing foot there and then that just folds neatly away. With this set we also get a little ladder to get up into the cockpit and we also get a little maintenance vehicle as well. So that can carry the pilots to their vehicles. It has some weapons storage as well and some tools and it also has a little box on the back with a sticker. And in that box you can store your studs for your stud shooters. Well guys, it's not a watch your building review and comparison without a comparison. So there's only one set that this needs to be compared to. And of course that is the original X-Wing Starfighter. So this is set 9493. Came out with four minifigures, 560 pieces and it's from 2012. Now they just look awesome together, don't they? I really like the look of these two sitting together like that. Now I'm a big fan of the original X-Wing. Of course, it's the minifig scale size. So a big fan of that set. If I had to pick between the two, it's very hard. I mean, I'm an original trilogy guy, so I'm going to go with the original one. But I really like this Pose X-Wing. Really can't wait to see the movie. Really looking forward to that, I guess, along with everybody else on the planet. Now, the colour scheme of the orange and black really makes it stand out. So, it's a great looking set. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this Watcher Building review and comparison. 
I had a whole lot of fun putting this set together. It's a great build, really enjoyed it. Recommend this set to any Star Wars fan. You're not gonna be disappointed with it. It's very sleek, looks great, great for display, great for playability. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel for more LEGO because I've got plenty of LEGO on the way. More to come. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye for now.